Welcome to Step Into My Office. Today I'm in the Los Angeles office of Jenny Connor, the executive producer and showrunner of HBO's Girls. Lena Dunham is her business partner and also her best friend, so yes, it's a dream job. Let's find out how she got it. Jenny, here we are in the beautiful office that you share with Lena Dunham. Tell me, why is your production company called A Casual Romance? I think I was like 10 years old, and a friend of mine's father was taking a picture for a jazz band called Nightwind, and he needed a young girl to swing on a swing, and the title was A Casual Romance. At some point, we just came upon it as the name of our production company. And I'm wondering, what can you tell us about what's ahead in season four of Girls? I think HBO has a gun trained against the back of my head right now. <laughs> If I, um, let's see. The girls started out really young, and we're going into the fourth season, and we're trying to let them grow a little bit. So you're really not allowed to tell me anything. I are really you? can't. <laughs> so explain to us exactly what an executive producer does. It's a really great showrunner. Said this the other day on a panel, and I'm stealing it. She said, "I'm the CEO," and that's what I am. Mm -hmm. I'm the CEO, and and I manage a lot of people, and a big crew, and a big cast, and it's really, really fun and rewarding. So you have to be incredibly creative, but also a real businesswoman at the same time. Yeah. Is that tough? I think so. It is tough. It's very hard work, but I am a big believer in not micromanaging. I hire really, really talented people and let them do their jobs and trust them to do their jobs. I know that at one point you were also what you described as the most in-demand temp in New York oh, yes. City. It was this time in the mid-90s, which was like the big internet boom, and everyone with a college degree was making like a bajillion dollars. So like the supermodels when they were like, I don't get out of bed for you know less 10, than 15,000, yeah. yeah, whatever they said. Like I was like, I don't get out of bed for less than $21 an hour, which was like a huge <laughs> amount of money at the time. This was clearly the creme de la creme of yes, temp jobs. absolutely. But then you would come home and you would write? Yeah, and then I would come home and I would write and, and take time off and write. Tell me the story of how you and Lena originally met. I had been obsessed with her movie. She made Tiny Furniture. And I watched it and I couldn't get it out of my brain. And we had the same agent and I would just give it to people and like bring it to people and be like, this is so important, you have to watch Just it. because you loved it. Yes, Lena then made a blind script deal at HBO and UTA was like, oh, well her stalker is also <laughs> a client of ours. <laughs> so we got together and we talked on the phone and we just fell in love. How do you feel about the success of Girls? Does it surprise you now, four years in? Nothing could have surprised me like when we first started. I thought we were making a really great, really tiny little show that no one would ever watch. So that when the response was overwhelmingly positive, but also just all the thing pieces that were negative and just all of the controversy, I cannot tell you how much I did not see that coming. Girls is by all accounts a really happy place yes, to work. It's and, the best place. But I bet that doesn't happen accidentally. How do you keep it happy? Kindness. I think that if you truly care and truly pay attention, that will make all the difference in everyone's day. And I've heard that you're sort of a mom figure with the team. I'm very protective. I also spend like 90% of my time trying to get them not to get tattoos or do their <laughs> weird things to their hair. I mean, I fail at that mostly. Does bleaching your hair platinum count as a weird thing? I Just hypothetically. <laughs> now the, the rules are that if you warn me and you do it enough advance so that you can look the same, that's fine. I just don't want the surprises. Tell me about the couches that you and Lena bought so that you guys could lie down. When we're in production, we do, you know, 14-hour days very often, sometimes mm -hmm. longer. So we found that little naps in the day really help us. So we got matching couches so we can face each other and talk on them and lie down. I'll show them to you. Lena obviously learns a lot from you, and you said that part of your job description is really to be her mentor. It was. She's learned all the things now. I've learned so much from her. Tell me, what are some of the Lena lessons? She pushes for a truth that is beyond anyone's imagination, right? And she finds so much value in telling her truth that she makes it kind of impossible for you to hedge around it. Perhaps an obvious question, but do you consider yourself a feminist? Oh, yes. So what does it mean to run a feminist office? One of the easiest ways to define it is equal pay, mm -hmm. and we do that. And, and I think that's really, really important. I think it's probably impossible to get to where you've gotten in this business in Hollywood and not be a really skilled negotiator. What's good advice for a woman who's trying to be paid her fair value? For me, it was really helpful to be able, when I was negotiating for higher salaries, to truly feel like I deserve this and if I don't get it, I'm gonna trust that something else is gonna come along 
that really helps. So at Glamour, you know we do do's and don'ts, so I want to ask for some career do's and don'ts from the Jenny Connor point of view. Bring it. <laughs> Bring it on. Crying at work. Do. We are women. We run a show. I don't ever run a show like I think a man would run a show. Mm -hmm. I run a show like a woman would run a show, and that means crying sometimes, right. and it's okay. Girls' night out with your coworkers. I mean, theoretically, yes. I have no nights out. What's the ultimate glamour don't at the office? What is the one thing that you never want anybody on your team to uh, do? To be unkind to anyone. There's no room for anyone to be unkind to anyone else. Not, not on my watch. <laughs> <laughs> so compassion is the ultimate glamour do in I the Jenny so. Connor world. I, I, so. I agree. And I think everything can come from that. Let's go to the couch. Okay, okay, to the yes, couch. let's go to the couch. <laughs> this is officially the best interview ever. Well, we should have done the whole thing on the couch. Your couches are super comfortable. All right, I told you. Uh, goodbye. Thank, Thank you. you. This is terrific. At Glamour, we love to hear from our audience. So if you enjoyed our conversation with Jenny Connor today, let us know in the comments below. And thank you for watching Step Into My Office.